everyone today i'm showing you a cool website called sql climber so sql climber is a really good resource if you're wanting to learn sql you can do it straight in the browser which means you can do it from your phone or your ipad or your um, desktop if you want and it gives you little assignments and gives you hints on how to do certain things and gives you what the expected result should look like it has a database diagram as well so you can quickly look and see the connection between different tables that you might be trying to join. It starts off pretty simple in the beginner's course and gets more and more complex. And for each course that you do, you can get a certificate once you've completed this um, course. So that's something you could put on your LinkedIn to sort of show that you've got experience in SQL. So this one is asking for the country name, city name, and population, and to sort the records in descending order by population. So what I'm doing is I'm joining country and city, and then I'm going to select the country name, city name, and population from the join tables. And I'm adding my order by population. Now, one thing that's important is that you're actually going to want to um, show the correct um, column header. So like for this one, I wanted the country name to be country, city name to be city rather than just name, name. And I want the last one to be population, so I don't need to specify what I want that to be named as a, as a column header. So I run that and it'll show you the, your results. And if it's correct, then it's going to um, not show any issues and you can continue to the next assignment. So I'm just showing you what the hints would look like and it just sort of shows you that if you want to filter you can use the where clause and it gives you an example. You can skip between the assignments and you can also see some editor shortcuts. That just expands the editor width so if you've got like longer lines then you might want to do that. There's two modes, test and assignment. So test was just if you wanted to test it while you're practicing and make sure that it's working. And here's what the issued certificate would look like once you've completed. And then you could download your certificate and upload to LinkedIn. Yeah, and you can see the different courses available here and whether you've completed them, it would show the certificate against it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys again soon.